Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Dings and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about central angle and arcs. Central angle is an angle formed by two rays whose vertex is the center of the circuit. This is now the illustration of central angle wherein we have angle BAC. So as you can see here, the vertex of the angle is the center of the circuit, which is A. And this is now the illustration of central angle. And the intercepted arc is created when lines cut across a section of the circumference of the circuit. So here, these are the two lines or the rays of the angle wherein it cuts the circumference of the circuit and arc BC is the intercepted arc of angle BAC wherein that is the minor arc again the intercepted arc of angle BAC is arc BC and that is the minor arc and this is the major arc arc BDC the major arc is arc BDC. Let us discuss now the measures of the arcs or the process on how to determine the measures of the arc. Let's have number one, the measure of a minor arc is equal to the measure of the angle intercepting it. So this is now the illustration. We have circle A. So here, the angle is angle BAB, that is the central angle, and the minor arc or the intercepted arc is arc DB. By applying now, item number one, the measure of arc DB is equal to the measure of angle DAB. So this is angle DAB. Again, the measure of arc db is equal to the measure of angle dab so let's have an example let's say for example the measure of angle dab is equal to 60 degrees the measure of angle dab is equal to 60 degrees so we're going to find the measure of arc db so since the measure of arc db is equal to the measure of angle dab so, therefore, we can say that the measure of arc DB is also equal to 60 degrees. The measure of arc DB is equal to 60 degrees because the measure of angle DAB is equal to 60 degrees. The measure of the cent central angle is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. Number 2. The measure of the major arc is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of the minor arc with the same endpoints. Again, number two, the measure of the major arc is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of the minor arc with the same endpoints. So here in circle A, the minor arc is arc DB and the major arc is arc DCB. So let's have an example. Let's say the measure of arc DB is 60 degrees. So we're going to find the measure of arc DCB. Okay, so for the solution, we have the measure of arc DCB is equal to 360 degrees minus 60 degrees. Again, the measure of arc DCB, this is the major arc, is equal to 360 degrees minus 60 degrees. The measure of arc DB is 60 degrees. So, 360 degrees minus 60 degrees is equal to 300 de degrees. So, therefore, the measure of arc DCB is 300 degrees. Let's have example number one. 
the measure of arc DB is equal to 70 degrees, find the measure of angle DAB. So we have here circle A. This is circle A. So the measure of arc DB, this is arc DB. The measure of this arc is 70 degrees. And we're going to determine the measure of angle DAB, which is the central angle. We're going to determine the measure of angle DAB wherein the measure of arc DB is equal to 70 degrees. So, we're going to write first the given. The measure of arc DB is equal to 70 degrees. And then, we're going to determine the measure of angle DAB. So, we're going to determine the measure of this angle. Since, we all know that the measure of angle DAB is equal to the measure of arc DB. So, we have the measure of angle DAB is equal to 70 degrees. So, we will just substitute the value of the measure or the measure of arc DB here. So, which is 70 degrees. And we can say now the measure of angle DAB is equal to 70 degrees. Let's have now example number 2. The measure of arc DB is equal to 70 degrees. Find the measure of arc DCB. The measure of arc DB is equal to 70 degrees. We're going to find the measure of arc DCB. Okay, so here, arc DB is the minor arc while arc DCB is the major arc. So first is we're going to write the given. The measure of arc DB is 70 degrees. So for the solution, we're going to determine the measure of arc DCB that is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of arc DB. So we will just substitute the measure of arc DB in the equation so we have the measure of arc dcb is equal to 360 degrees minus 70 degrees next is we're going to simplify 360 degrees minus 70 degrees we're going to subtract 70 degrees from 360 degrees and the answer now is the measure of arc dcb is equal to 290 degrees. That is the measure of arc BCB. Let's have example number 3. The measure of arc DB is equal to 45 degrees and line segment CD is the diameter. Find the measure of arc BC. Again, the measure of arc DB is equal to 45 degrees and line segment CD is the diameter. Find the measure of arc BC. So this is now the illustration. We have circle A. This is circle A. And this is arc DB. And line segment CD. This is line segment CD. And this is the diameter of circle A. So, we're going to determine the measure of arc BC. So, given the measure of arc DB is 45 degrees, for the solution, measure of arc BC is equal to 180 degrees minus the measure of arc DB. So, why do we have 180 degrees here? As you can see, 9 segment CD is the diameter of circuit A. And, arc DBC is a semicircuit. And, the measure of semicircuit is 180 degrees. So, that's why we have 180 degrees here. And then, minus the measure of arc DB. So, in order to get the measure of arc BC, we're going to subtract the measure of arc DB from the measure of the semicircle, which is 180 degrees. 
So, next is we're going to substitute the value of the measure of arc DB in the equation. So, we have the measure of arc DC equals 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. So, we will subtract now 45 degrees from 180 degrees. So, we have the measure of arc BC is equal to 135 degrees. So, the measure of arc BC, the measure of this arc is 135 degrees. For example, number 4, the measure of angle BAB is equal to 50 degrees and line segment CD is the diameter. Find the measure of angle BAC. Again, the measure of angle DAB is equal to 50 degrees and CD, this is line segment CD, is the diameter. Find the measure of angle BAC. So, we're going to determine the measure of this angle, angle BAC, wherein the measure of angle BAC or DAB is 50 degrees. First is, we're going to write the given. The measure of angle DAB is equal to 50 degrees. And for the solution, the measure of angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees. The measure of angle DAB. So here, angle DAC or angle CAD is a straight angle which measures 180 degrees. So that's why we have 180 degrees here. Next is we're going to substitute the value of angle DAB or the measure of angle DAB which is 50 degrees. So we have the measure of angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees. Next is we're going to subtract 50 degrees from 180 degrees or 180 degrees minus 50 degrees. So, the answer is 130 degrees. So, the measure of angle BAC is 130 degrees. Next example number 5, the measure of angle PHM is equal to 110 degrees. Find the measure of arc P and M. Okay, again, the measure of angle PHM, this is angle PHM, is equal to 110 degrees. Find the measure of arc P and M. That is the major arc. So, this is angle PHM, which is a central angle, and this is arc P and M, which is the major arc. First is, we're going to write the given. The measure of angle PHM is 110 degrees. So, we're going to solve. The measure of angle PHM is equal to the measure of arc PM. This is arc PM, which is the minor arc or the intercepted arc of angle PHM. And as we all know that the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. So we can say now the measure of arc PM is equal to 110 degrees. So here we have the measure of arc PNM is equal to 360 degrees since arc P and M is a major arc. So, this will be the solution. 360 degrees minus the measure of arc P M. Arc P M is the minor arc, which is equal to 110 degrees. And we will subtract now 110 degrees from 360 degrees or 360 degrees minus 110 degrees. So, we have the measure of arc P and M is equal to 250 degrees. Next 
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.